Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So we're on our way to making our rocket tier 3. But the biggest problem I've got at the moment is um, bedrockium. And the reason for that is I'm not generating cobblestone fast enough. In whatever technique I've used I've not been doing it fast enough. So from a tip from Zero Life I'm going to set up a different one. So let's get on and do that. I've actually been preparing some of it. Uh, and it's all downstairs. And it's in the usual place for bedrock. Uh, it's over here. As you can see, I've knocked most of this down here. And I've set up two channels. They should be 16 blocks long. And I put around there some, some stones and some flu a hardened fluid duct. We need a hardened fluid duct. So now what do i want let's get into this chest and i've got i've got blazing prothium here let's put this down actually let's put down one there and it doesn't actually really matter too much because i've got to use buckets to take it out of there at the same time i'm also going to make 32 um ser servers actually I'll probably make yeah 32 servers we'll make some servers So we just need the standard ones for doing this, I think. We won't have anywhere near as enough. Yeah, I didn't think so. Let's take that. Cut that off. Make a stack of those. Let's try that server again. Now these 32 are going to be for that we're going to make 36. We'll also make some resonant ones. Like that. I think it'll be what we need. And we're also going to make some impulse item ducts. Now I've got everything prepared over here. Now impulse item ducts are faster. They're not the fastest. We could actually go to the next level. So let's have a look at that. In fact, actually talking about that, we might as well go to the warp item ducts because it's basically just enderium with some item ducts. That's not actually a very difficult thing to do. In fact, it's actually easier than doing the, the impulse ones. So this, the impulse ones feel items travel more rapidly. And with this one, they actually travel instantaneously. But requires red certain flux. Yeah, that's correct. I remember that. It's been a long time since they've done this. I've got some item ducks. And actually I've got some clothes to. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll actually do that. So it's actually basically I think we need forty eight of those compared to that. What we'll do is we'll do but either way it doesn't make much difference. So we'll set them up. Because item ducks are also not too difficult to make. So all I need to do here is put I'm oh, going to get rid of that water. Let me get a tank. They've already got some water from last time. I'm removing the water from in here. I shouldn't come in anymore, by the way, because I've disabled the, the inputs. Let's just shift everything off. They put that into the... Oh, that's the Magna Crucible. Oh, that's okay. No, that's not okay. Let's actually... <laughs> let's get rid of that. Let's output it on this side. And I want to input on this side, don't I? And this one wants to be off. This one, output that side. So we can then put the tank in here like that. So what I want to do is actually melt down this glowstone. So 48 should be give us what we need. We've got to, the water's got to go out first of all. Hopefully there's enough capacity in one tank. Actually it probably isn't. I better get another tank. we got in here might just do this time so what's going to happen then is the glowstone is going to start 
Uh -huh, yeah. Start producing energized glowstone. Could have done it differently, of course. We could have just gone some from the other stuff. I. Oh, it's a shame. <laughs> right, let's go and get another tank. What's actually rather nice about these, they do stack anyway, so if I put those in there, they stack. And come back again and get some footage in again. This time it should empty it out. Good. So that should give us, we've got 10,000 there plus 2,000, we've got 12,000. And I think that's enough for these impulse item ducks. I think it should be exact because you basically get 1,000 for four. So basically it's five of those will give us, I think something like that. We'll see. I've got it wrong, I've got it wrong. So what I'm going to do down is, here's to put down some crucibles. We've got plenty of crucibles. And we need the servos, don't we? We've got the servos with me? Yes, I have, good. So first of all, we'll put, we'll put down the pyrothium. Here, yeah, I want actually to get 16 buckets out. I should have 16 buckets. Ah, yes, of course, because I've put the rest of these into water. Let's tell you what we'll do. Get these out of here, get the the one the water one out here like that. Let's just put the water one on the wall here. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Pick it up again, put the tank on the wall, and then put the bucket into the tank. Right, that's our sixteen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down. Let's fill up these 16. Well, well first of all, we'll just move everything out of here. And I'll put those down there like that. So we got nine slots. Right, that's good. So we now put these down into here so that we're now going to get uh, a full maxed out generation of uh, lava. And so I've got my calculations correct which should be exactly 16 so that's 9 plus should be um, I think it's funny how it like sets things on fire I've got one extra. I probably missed one. Doesn't matter very much. We can soon sort that out. So let's press the R and sort that again. And let's take these buckets down here, like these crucibles down here, and put the crucibles on the head, like that. This shouldn't take too long, to be honest with you. So now we need, if we look at all of these here, it'll tell us what the speed is. If the one I missed will have five. Or maybe the other possibility is I have only got 15. <laughs> yes, I've only got, f this one's got none. I think that's the problem then. Yeah, that's right. That makes sense, doesn't it? Put this down here. Like that. Okay, I have to break this one away and break away that block there. It'll set things on fire, of course, and put that down there and then put the crucible on top of it and we're all right. I've not got my magnet in hand. Let's put my magnet back and pick up the bits we just dug up. Right, so that's your six, That's our 16. I'd better go and do that on the other side as well. We're going to do the same thing on this side. I'll actually leave that in my hand because it will give us, in fact, it will give me eight, I think. So we can start, it doesn't really matter which end we start at. Just got to be a bit careful you don't put it in the same slot because if you do, then you lose one, of course. Ah, 
That's why I'm not talking as much as I should do. Now, of course, with the crucibles, it doesn't matter very much. We've got 16. And basically, the principle of what we're going to do is exactly the same as we did last time. But we're going to use a. Not going to use transfer pipes and transfer nodes, we're going to use item ducts and, and fluid ducts. I think they're probably better. They're certainly faster. You can see what's going on. Right, let's remove these two. So that's what we've basically got. So now we need to get into here the cobblestone. Now we only need standard item ducts for that because I think we do because it's uh, fairly slow and I haven't got any more of course because I've just converted everything to impulse item ducts. Yeah, I got 60. I think that's what my calculation was. So we've got another four. So we need another. It's actually five. We need glowstone, but. We'll definitely need some more. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to um, use the impulse ones. I'm going to use the standard ones. Item ducks, just a standard item duck like this. We've got 60. I'll need some more. It takes it. Got 56. Oh, yes, that's right, because it filled up the other one. So. That'll probably be enough. 120, I think that is. So we're just going to put these on top of here like this. And you'll notice I'm using the, the ones which are clear and you can see through. The only thing which is a bit awkward on this, maybe I could even use Endryo stuff, is to go through and change every one of those servos that we're going to put down on the bottom here to being an extract. So we'll, this is a, so it becomes a bit painful. So just right click on X, turn it on. I'm not going to do all of that now. I'm just going to put them down and, we'll come up, and I'll come and do it off camera. I'll finish them off off camera. Oops, I missed. In fact, that's actually bad because I can't reach that bottom one very easily. So I'm going to have to break that piece of pipe up. Put down another. Oh, that's not an item duct. Fluid duct is what I want. Ha! Huh. I'm sure I saw that going to that place. Are they both item ducts? Oh, here's the fluid ducts. Right, try again. So that's going to pull out of here the lava, of course. And we need hardened for lava as well. You can't get away with ordinary fluid ducts, temporal fluid ducts, they will break. And that will actually make a mess. So that's basically the layout we're going to use this time and do I need anything on the end of it? No I don't, I can put down some slabs. At least here, oops, let's try again, here and here. We should be okay for this block. So right, so now we need to, well, having said that, just what do we want, fluid duct out of here, hardened fluid duct there. So they'll all come out into here, so we need to get it in. So we just need to, well they won't connect will they, so let's put them across like that. And what I was, will do is I will put a chest on top of here like this, which we haven't got yet because that's what the chest I want is over here. And I'm going to break this chest but it's going to make a mess. So before I make a mess with this chest, I'm just going to put all my stuff I've got on me here away into the, there. Uh, plus one more, because I need one for this chest, don't I? So I'll get rid of those. 
we'll get rid of the servers. What I'll do is take the axe, put the axe like that, because this is actually the one I had before. So now we should have to be full of that, full of cobblestone, which we're going to put back into this chest. But we're going to put the chest over here this time. I think we'll be okay. I'm planning this as I'm going along, so maybe later on I'll change my mind. Okay, and this time we're going to put on that one a, a slightly different type of server. We're going to put the um, resonance server, because with the resonance server you can do smart things. What else have we got in here? Let's just sort that. Let's take two pieces of glowstone. Take my pickaxe. Well, if there's anything else, I want to come back and get it. We need oh, there is, of course. Yeah, I forgot what I was trying to do. I need the ME cable stuff, so I need import, storage, export, and import. I think I don't need anything else in the time, so we'll just do with that. So what we're going to do is going to. It was exporting to here like this, wasn't it? It's where we were coming across. So let's remove this. Can move it right across to there and then we can bring this across directly from here to here anyway and i think if i put it at head height it's not a big deal because i'd be able to walk underneath it so let's just put this across yes that'll do fine it's going to connect up there okay what happened there uh, connected to cross to those two. I think that's okay. So now we just need an export bus on here. Now I'll put the resident one of these on first of all, like that. And I'm going to set it to round robin because you can do round robin here. Round robin and activate that. So actually that will start sending the The, uh, the, the cobblestone, it's sending it one block at a time, it doesn't matter if it does anyway, it will not be a problem. So, alright, I wanted the export bus on here, didn't I? And I want to export cobblestone, let's take one out, put it in there, like that. So that will should start to export cobblestone and come in at the same time. And as you can see, it'll work quite work quite nicely filling up all of these so of course they're going to produce lava which we're going to stream back down here so that will generate generators now we need to basically put a bucket of water under something a barrel we need the barrel so this feeds into a barrel does it feed in that way oh it does perfect look at that so all i need now is some more cobble slabs <laughs> can't quite get underneath that let's do this just put one slab there and then you just put the slabs around the side of it like this I've done this before I've shown you this before I reckon and we just break the middle one like that and that will give us, uh, we need to put some water in that, of course. Let's remove this out of the way. And go and get a bucket of water. Right again. That's going to make obsidian. And the obsidian is going to have to come out of the bottom of this, so let's go down here. And I don't think it's going to make it terribly fast, so we can use standard item duct. We just need a servo on that, and I think we'll get away with a standard servo. I'm going to try it, 
because I'm curious. We can always upgrade the servos later on, or the pipes. What else have we got in the item ducts? Get that a quick sort. And activate that. So next thing, we need to feed into that. But basically what I'm doing is replacing all of this stuff here. Good. This chemical decomposer is empty, so I can take this one away. Of course we need power. That's going to be another challenge. No, it won't be too much of a problem, I don't think. So we're going to bring, the, bring this into a chemical decomposer. So I need to go one more block along here, I think. And then we can put the chemical decomposer. Let's get the cables for this running through. I think I'll take them through here. In fact, for that matter, I actually don't have that much cable. I'll do it the same as I've done it before. And go down and basically run the cable underneath the blocks here. Which I probably can do from... I don't, probably don't need to do that, actually, do I? I can just do it from here. Like this, just make a channel. What I want to do is run it out. Good. To be honest with you, I haven't got any more cables. I need to make some aluminium cables. Let's do that fairly straightforwardly. We've probably got tons of string. Yep, yeah, 2,000. Let's take that, make a stack of wool. Okay, clear that off. Now we need, let's have a look at the recipe of this one. Okay, good. Let's put that in there and take that stack of that. Good. They don't seem to have any restrictions, by the way, these cables. Well, they probably have, but I haven't found them yet. Let's go up here. Good. So there, you see what I'm trying to do. Because it, I've, oops, can't get over. Because I made this an extra level down here, and I put a basically a ceiling on this. You can bring things through much more easily, like that. And then we can take the builder's wand, which I haven't left in that chest over there, and fill that in in one go with the mint. I've got plenty of mint. need to make sure the cable comes up first of all as well otherwise it'll fill in oh we don't want it to do that just yet like that good there we are so now we want the chemical decomposer to come up I think maybe that's not so good let's, let's put the power behind it So this has to come in at the top of the decomposer. And it comes out of the bottom or the sides. Well, we can get it going out of the side, so we don't have to be too high. In fact, yeah, I'll do it like this because I know I've got... Well, that's not very efficient. So I could have done that better, couldn't I? Tell you what, this one down here. I can't do it that way. I've got to go to this side. There we go. But it's got to go in the top. So let's get it going in the top. Item duct. Oops, missed. So we can simply remove that one and remove this one. So that's how it's going to go in. In fact, that should start to do it already, you know? I think so. There we go. We are now getting obsidian coming into here that actually should already be converting to from there to silicon dioxide so the next one over here 
I've got as this one was basically doing chemical decomposing those two so let's take this machine what I've got here was import bus was well, importing silicon dioxide and here I've got a another import bus which I think was actually not importing anything it should have been importing the magnesium dioxide I think so out of the side of here we're going to come like that go up the top and we'll break these two because we don't want these two to join like this and then come in the crop put the next one down here <laughs> always wants to connect where you don't want it to connect huh? like that and then we can put the item duct on the top of this So what we need to do is throw away the magnesium oxide. I really don't need it. So we'll make a trash can for that, I think. And we'll throw it away. But basically I need the servo in here. So what I've got to do is put a servo on the side here to throw away the magnesium oxide. And the other one will be fine. So let's just get two more. I want to build a trash, another trash can. So they're not too difficult. We just need an item trash can for that. And I've got no chests there, so look, chest. Good. So, from this side, we'll just put another item duct. We'll put the chest in front of that one there like that. And then we'll put a servo on this one. And a servo on this one, of course. They're not yet activated. So what I want is magnesium dioxide and silicon dioxide. So in this one here, we are going to whitelist magnesium oxide. And this one we're going to whitelist silicon dioxide. And then we're going to turn them on. Like that. Now if these aren't fast enough, I change them. But, but uh, in fact it probably is too slow as it look just looking at it, it looks too slow, huh? Okay. So what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna change the, the two servers and we're also gonna change the, the cabling or the piping. So what we want now are the the ones which are in here. I've got four more of those. Let me just put these two. I think I'll be left with something that we are. Yeah, another hundred. I need really just need two more glowstone. Let's just go and get those. into here there might be a drop of glowstone in that yeah there is exactly item duct let's just put one more in here and that'll be empty then until we get our five so what I'm going to do now is going to replace this one here and I'm going to put in its place the impulse item ducts and this time I'm going to use a resident resonant servo Let's click that one in there and then activate this with We also want a white list magnesium oxide enabled. So those items should come out of there fa quite fast now. In fact, if there are any in here, let's have a look. Yeah, they've already gone. The same is true here. So let's remove these pipes here. And put down the the impulse like that, and of course I have to then break the different pipe connections I don't want, and put the servo on here like that. And we want to whitelist silicon dioxide, and that should be then 
this should be full I think something's gone wrong one of these servers probably got something in it that it shouldn't have had cars oops no nope, not that one right click it, it doesn't take it off of course it's got no power so we'll do the same thing with the power down here but I should be able to reach these two like that so that'll be making it our silicon and our oxygen and that's going to be making it fast enough for the synthesizer to work now with the synthesizer we can go in the top so let's put down our pipes down here like this where's the rest of the here we go impulse item ducts because we need it to come out the bottom this is always a slight problem let's just break that it shouldn't be a problem in fact in this case So now we need the synthesizer, and here's the synthesizer. This, I think, is chemical decomposer. Oh, yes, I probably need to decompose the silicon and the dioxide. Okay, yeah, that's true. Let's get this one taken. Let's go along to this one. Remove. Oh, that's got. That's not the one at all, is it? So, oh! wrong one that was re relevant that was just for enderium huh? oh yes I've done it somewhere else I moved everything over here didn't I oh, this is actually a bit too complicated let's just remove this book from here remove the two items oh yes I probably have to wait let's remove this we don't need that anymore and then we can break the that so all we need to do now is to put the synthesizer here put the book in it before we do that let's just make sure we've got this connection removed let's put the connection down for the bottom here as well because that's going to join up to that which i don't want it to do and then we can basically take it out of here so what we're going to be getting out of here is cobblestone like that we just need the server on here so we'll put this uh, resonant server resonant server on here and activate that so oh no i want that one don't i or make another one whichever on here so in here we should have now plenty of silicon and oxygen so we put the book in here that's so that will now give us the recipe for that so all we have to now do is to activate this of course it needs power and that should come into here fairly fast as you can see a stack at a time and I think that's faster than it can actually be used to make stuff but we need to give this power so we'll just take the power up again from this side here so this has now got power in it and it's full so all we now need to do is to take these compressors here see I've got a compressor here which is compressing these so what I'm going to do is simply remove these and I don't need to do anything complicated just basically put them down and give them power And again, we can give them power. It's just the same as we've done it before. I'll stand back about here. 
power comes up here. That's my cable on too. To take it out of here and here I think I'm going to do it like that. Yes. And that should start already have make be making Oh no, okay, so I need a I need a server on there. Actually I'm not sure if this server is going to be fast enough, so let's put it on and find out. And we should see coming out of here. Um there we go. Cobblestone to make compressed cobblestone. So let's just go down here and break this one away. They've all got power now. All of these machines have got power. Now, I, what I can tell you is we don't need for it. Oops, jumped down the wrong place. I want to get my mint. No, I don't need my mint. Let's do it with the, the builder's wand. Like that. So let's have a look at this now. Well, that's not fast enough, is it? So we're going to make some more servers to do that, and that'll get things going a bit faster. Oh, wrong one. Oh dear. So remove this one like this and put on the resident one and activate that. Don't need anything special filters, now you can see it going through there very fast. Yep, good. The of course, what else I've got to do is I've got to bring this back into the system here to make sure that we've got cobblestone supplying this. So the next thing we want to do is I don't ooh, yeah that's okay no problem. I just put one of these down and right click it and the same again here. And the final one here. I guess that doesn't connect to anything else. So we just put the servers on here. They won't be very fast, so Activate that. So we'll look at this. Oh, actually, it looks like that was bouncing back a bit. Maybe I need a faster server on this one. As you can see, it's nice and full. This isn't full. How's this doing for lava? The lava's not full either, so that's okay. Of course, I'm not going to be getting maximum speed yet because I've not activated these. I need to go around and activate all of these because that'll soon actually, that'll soon get the, the lava ratio up. With Ender Eye, of course, I could use the tool for doing this. But that's a bit of a long episode, and I haven't quite finished it. But the only thing I've got to do now is to import from here some cobblestone back into the system. So that's it. So until next time, I'm going to say bye for now. I'll finish this off between episodes, and I'll show you next time. Until then, bye for now.